Exit the dungeon will be coming to other platforms soon, and then the Enter the Gungeon spin off released exclusively for Apple Arcade back in September. But developer Dodge Rolls Game has announced that they will be releasing it on PC and consoles early this year. Assuming that the Apple exclusivity deals last about six months, this puts the release on the other platforms in the middle of March, and we'll have to wait for official release date to be sure. A Reddit user with the handle of bold one one mango has created a pretty brutal camp trap in Fallout 76. As soon as players enter his camp, the door shuts behind them, trapping them inside. The only way for players to get out is to answer the math problem written on the wall, and the catch is the players have a limited amount of time to key the correct answers. And once the timer expires, they'll experience a fire death as we needed another reason to hate math around. Valve has finally changed the way Steam handles game soundtracks. Instead of being sold as DLC, Valve has changed it, so they are now sold as a new type of app, light, uh, rightly called soundtracks. Uh, this removes in limitations where players had to purchase the base game just to purchase the soundtrack. Users can also now download soundtracks without having to download the base game, and Valve has also made it easier for users to manage their game music collection on the platform. Blizzard has announced a few nerf and buff coming to Hearthstone this week. Uh, this includes an additional 1 mana cost from the Friendish Rites, Shine of Ruin, Unsure Invocation of Frost, and the Necrom Apothear Sorry, cards. And both are patches in Pyridge and uh, Pyramid are returning to the Battlegrounds Hero Pool, and uh, both their Heroes of Powers have received a slightly buff. You can also view the full a uh, 16.0.8 balance update patch notes at the official Blizzard forum. Rare will be putting the very best of the Sea of Thieves community in the spotlight in next week's update. In a recent developer update, they revealed that the game will get a new NPC named Umro, who will also task players will hunt down hidden landmarks of the ink player skeletons, flags, engravings, and wanted posters. All of which pay a tribute to a specific player with an outstanding contribution to the game, or has earned a funny and bizarre milestone. The update will also come with the quality of life or tricks. Automata producer 
Gundam, Yusuke Saito is hinting that they have something in the works for New Year's 10th anniversary. In an interview published in the latest issue of Japan's Weekly of a Matsu magazine, he said something that roughly translates into this and that and an announced a title. When asked about the upcoming milestone, a Nier was released on the PS3, Xbox 360 in April 2010, so Square Enix may reveal the end announced title coming April. The nominees for the Game Developers Choice Awards have been announced, and Death is Trending leads this year's nominees with nomination in seven categories. It is also vying for the Game of the Year Award alongside Control and Outer Wilds, Sekiro Shadow Die Twice, and Titled Goose Game. The event will be held during the 2020 Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, California. You can also check out the full list of nominees for each category at official GDC website. Fans were disappointed in Sony's recent PlayStation 5 reveal, a CES which devices, turned out to before. be nothing more it's than the upcoming console's official logo. Games. The logo itself didn't really like, like some thing new. However, guys, the PS5 logo reveal still ended up becoming the most liked Instagram image from any gaming so company. I got 5 million well. likes and Which over 136,000 comments within so 48 platform. hours. The PS5 expected to, to launch during this year's holiday season. SSD, 3D audio, Ultra HD Blu-ray, and a brand new controller with haptics and adaptive trigger buttons. With that foundation, PS5 will inspire developers to create expansive worlds with new gameplay experiences that are more immersive than ever before in how they look, sound, and feel. Three, two, one, Nintendo has never supported its Super Smash Bros. eSports scene, with prize money and President Shintaro Furukawa revealed why during a recent interview with Japanese business journal Nikkei. He said that he wants their games to be widely enjoyed by everyone regardless of experience, gender, or age. It seems that Nintendo wants to avoid creating a distinction between pros and casuals or probably to avoid scaring away the latter from enjoying Super Smash Bros. titles. IO Interactive is bringing back one of its first elusive contracts for Hitman 2 next week. The Undying, which stars and famous actor Sian Bin, will be available once again starting January 17. Players will also have 10 days to tag out Mark Faba, a rogue MI5 agent in a sandbox mission set in Miami. And it seems that IO will also likely to continue to recycle the old content to keep Hitman 2 alive Throughout 2020, well, its shift is focused on future projects, none of which have been revealed yet. Now you're watching. Still not sent your best, eh?
A long-running bug that has a tormented Street Fighter V online mode since its launch, almost four years ago has been fixed by a modder named Altimore. The bug causes artificial lag because of how the game's netcode handles received input in certain situations, and Altimore released a DLL replacement mod to fix the issue that has made it available online for free. And the early adapters of the mod have also reported excellent results so far, making a huge difference in the game's online experience. Check out today's deals. So first up is our free game and it is the action adventure game Uncharted, the Nathan Drake PS4. We also have the games with the best discounts, which are the racing video game A Dirt Rally 2.0 and third action fighter My Hero 1 Justice, and then the tactical role-playing game Valkyria Chronicles 4. So don't miss out our great lineup of deals go to our daily deals page only here again at allkishop.com. The newest champions to come to the League of Legends is the Aphilos so players were able to try him out and everybody has decided that he is overpowered having a ban rate of 253% in competition. The percentage mentioned was from the Korean challengers competitions the ban has saw from both the red and blue themes making it 200% and additional 23% is from the remix. The developers will be rolling out patch 10.1 soon and it will be having nerf for the overpowered affiliates. A new game which is the mix between dungeon management and the roguelike will be coming your way this year. The game is called Legend of Keepers. Get to play as the dungeon master and chose between the three original classes available. Get to join the dungeon's company and get to climb the corporate ladder. Protect the dungeon's treasures and crush the so-called heroes. You will be hiring monster manage your people and check your stock of traps. Create fancy events for your employees. Your mission, protect the treasure at all costs. What are you waiting for? The Dungeons Company is hiring. The game slowly lives on, although the original developers still bore us close in 2017. Awesome Studio thanks the game. As for it saying so, it's set to launch on January 21 for PC and the PlayStation 4, January 22 for the Xbox One, and January 24 for the Nintendo Switch. The game is about the lonely race who have returned to their home world. Sadly, their home and become a hostile place, and it is up to them to restore to the balance and preserve it for the future generations.
the cross-platform free supply card, racing games card, rider, drift will be integrating, Vivox a voice chat. Vivox technology will be providing improved social and community experience to the games. Card Rider Drift is still the deployment right now. The games will have the three Destiny modes which are the Time Attack, Ifa mode, and the Competitive Sped mode. The games will also be using the Unreal Engine 4. Graphics which is promised to the stunning Card Rider Drift will be available for PC and the Xbox One. The Book of Books have been stolen a symbol, your theme, and avenge the world that has fallen into chaos. Because the book thief chose, choose from the Dracula King Arthur, Queen Victoria, Nikola Tesla, Cassandra Dorothy Gale, Stan Walken, the Monkey King, and the Robin Hood. The game is about rage and it offers the new span of the Metrovania genre. This upcoming games from the intro games and digital tales will be launching Engine Water DF. For PC, PlayStation 4, and then some dust switch. From publisher Motos Games and the developers the Ace Theme, the Giants Monkey Robot comes with a new dev diary for their upcoming games Rock of Ages 3. Make and break, they talk about the game's design and how it evolved from the original idea. Also, they talk about the new feature that they will want to add the games, which is the level editor. Also, the game's close alpha starts today. Pokemon Sword the show will be getting a new DLC that will be adding 200 more Pokemon to the game. This will be a part of the expansion pass that split into the Asley of Armor and the Crown Tundra. The Pokemon that will be added include the Galarian, Slug Coop, new Dead and Tamax forms, and new Ragged Pokemon. Players won't need to DLC to get some of the Pokemon as trainers will be allowed to trade Pokemon from those who have the DLC. Gong Mira Jin Yuk, the Overwatch legend, is stepping out of retirement. As he announced in his Facebook post, he was the former main thought for Lunatic High and Soul, the nasty bot, had some personal problems to attend to, which led to his retirement. Mira was a two time Apex Championship winner and the Overwatch World Cup MVP. He was also dubbed also the good father of the main tanks by ESPN.
The 2D platformer Mac Action Games Hardcore Mecha is getting a PlayStation 4. Launch is announced by producer Lucky. They got first launch for the PC via Steam at the end of June 2018, and it just was a huge success. Rocket Punch Games will be launching Hardcore Mecha for the PlayStation 4 for North America and Europe on January 14th. There is a revered Rhyme Games DG Max Respect V that is developed by Rocky Studio and published by Newest is scanning two new fan favorite songs. The two songs are available for free for everyone who owns the game. What's great is that it comes with a lot of legends, visuals, and movies for the tracks. This all done in partnership with the Red Games, of course. Back then and back on Studios, AO's Tennis 2 is now available. This is the official Australian Open Series game that is available in the market. Get to create your own characters, studios, and even the legendary matches. Play the career mode and compete of matches to be the top world tennis player. AO Tennis 2 is available for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Great to meet you. Take a seat. I want us to meet from time to time just to check in on how you're going and celebrate some epic wins. Check out today's deal first up is all our free games that is an action adventure games the Uncharted, the Nathan Drake PS4. We also have games with the best discount, which are the racing video games the Rally 2.0 and 3D action fighter My Hero Ones, Justice, and the tactical role-playing games of Valkyria, Chronicles 4. Don't miss out on our great lineup and deals. So go to the Daily Deals page at the Alkishop.com.